Hey everybody, it's uh, Tom here, coming at you with yet another video. Uh, today I've got a, uh, a good sized toy haul. Uh, I've been buying a bunch of stuff. Um, I bought some more shelves, so I, I have more room to display more stuff. So I bought a bunch of toys to fill the uh, the new shelves that I got. Okay, so uh, let's get to it. First thing I have is a Pacific Rim figure. It is a Cherno Alpha. Uh, I've been picking up all the Jaegers from Pacific Rim uh, from both the movies, both uh, the first one and the second one. And so I needed a Cherna Alpha from the first movie. And uh, I got him recently. So that's him, that's Cherna Alpha. Up next is Striker Eureka. And this one looks pretty cool. I mean, they all they all look cool, but this one looks more like kind of like a Gundam. It reminds me of a little bit. Or the the Cherno Alpha kind of looks like a almost like a Zaku. I mean, it's green like a Zaku. That's the main thing and reason why it reminds me of one. But here is um Crimson Typhoon. Another um, uh, Jaeger that I needed for my collection. So that's him. Okay, up next are the Pacific Rim Uprising Jaegers. Here is Valor Omega. Looking pretty sweet. And I will be opening up all these toys that I'm showing off today. Especially these uh, Pacific Rim figures. I'll probably open those first. Get them up on my shelf. Okay, up next, another Jaeger. It is November Ajax. Okay, and the last, uh, wait. No, it's not the last Pacific Rim toy. It's the last one, though, from, from the sequel. We have the Kaiju Drone. Pretty sweet. So that's him. Here is uh, Coyote Tango. I think this guy might be the coolest looking Jaeger. I really like uh, his look. You know, those, it's cool he's got those guns on his back. So that's him. And here is Tacit Ronin. Okay, so those are all my uh, Pacific Rim toys for today. Um, up next, I, uh, I, I've gotten back into collecting uh, Masters of the Universe Classics. So I bought a bunch of those, and uh, here they are. Okay, up uh, first is uh, Webster. Web store, I guess. Which I paid a uh, pretty penny to get, because he's old. He's, uh, he came out, um, I think, 2013 or so. That's web store. In the back, you can see the other figures. Up next is another Masters of the Universe Classics. It is a uh, Tuscador, and this is one of the characters from uh, the New Adventures of He-Man, which I th think was the name of the show, like the like '90s revamp of He-Man. Where he he kind of looked like Jesus when he when he I mean when he wasn't He Man he, he wore like a robe and sandals I think so He Man looked kind of like Jesus but yeah here's Tuscador he's a big figure and uh, up next is a villain it's one of the Snake Men it is Squeeze. 
and he has really elongated limbs. I mean, his two arms, not, not his feet. But uh, I wanted to get a King Hiss, but he's, he's kind of pricey. Uh, I just tried to get uh, other characters that are cheap, but ones that I really, really want. There are the uh, characters on the back. So that is Squeeze, that's him. Up next is a character. I didn't, this isn't a recent purchase. This is something I actually pulled out of storage um, from when I used to collect masters years ago. I still had this uh, Moss Man. Yeah, it was just sitting in a box for years until I pulled them out until, until I'm ready to start collecting masters again. Here is uh, Extendar. Heroic Master of Extension. So that's him. Up next is uh, Darius, another one of the Galactic Protectors, which means he's from the uh, New Adventures of He Man, again, which I mentioned. The 90s revamp. But he looks pretty cool, so I, he was cheap. I think he was like 20, 30 bucks. So I had to get him. Okay, up next is a, a loose Masters figure. It is um, Dragon Blaster Skeletor. This is a figure I really wanted, but um, I didn't want to pay the full price for a mint one, so I settled on getting one loose. It was a lot cheaper. Although I think he came with a stand, uh, I mean, I think he's supposed to come with a stand, but he doesn't. So the guy must have lost his stand, the guy who sold this to me. But that is uh, Dragon Blaster Skeletor, he looks cool. And he will look nice on a shelf. Okay, up next, another master. It is Clawful. Another bad guy. And he looks pretty sweet. Let's see what's on the back. More Masters characters. Uh, the bio. So it's him. Next is a another Master. It's a hero. It is Strobo. Which uh, he looks kind of goofy, but I like. I, I think it's a good goofy. And I needed uh, some more good guys, I think. I can't have my whole collection being nothing but bad guys. So that's Strobo. Up next is a character I've never seen before in any He-Man media. It is Lord Mask. But he looked cool and he was cheap. So uh, I picked him up. I think he's from... I think this guy is from um, the original He-Man cartoon, the Filmation cartoon. I could be wrong about that, but uh, I haven't seen most of the Filmation cartoons, so he he's probably from that. Okay, up next I've got uh, more Masters. Here is a two-pack of Twistoid and Rotar. And I will be opening this like I'll be opening all of these toys. Um, these guys look cool. I, th their names are reversed. Like Rotar is over here and this is Twistoid right here, the bad guy. So, but they both look uh, pretty cool if I do say so myself. So that is that two pack. Let's look on the back. There's a better look at the figures. And some other figures. Oh, I really, I really want a Scare Glow, but he's really expensive. I want a King Hiss too. And uh, Mosquito, I could probably live without. 
But uh, yeah, Scareglow, I w really would like a Scareglow, but he's going for crazy prices. So I, mean, I think I saw one for like $130 or something. And up next is another uh, Masters 2 pack. It is Laser Power He Man versus Laser Light Skeletor. And uh, as you can see, they look pretty sweet. I like the laser light gimmick. I think they light up. Uh -huh. Yeah, but that's them. And I needed um I needed a He-Man and a Skeletor. Well, I've got two Skeletors now, but um, I needed uh, because I, I bought that before I bought the Dragon Blaster Skeletor. That was my first Skeletor figure. Okay, that's all the Masters. Up next, I've got some Transformers. Um, I don't buy a lot of Transformers, but uh, I do rarely sometimes. And up uh, up next is um Hunger. He's one of the terror cones, and he's the uh, the main body for Abominus, and he looks pretty cool. Yeah, I couldn't resist the terror cones. Um, I love the combiners, and the uh, Abominus is one of my favorites. Okay, up next is a uh, Ripper Snapper. Another Terracon, the forming one of the limbs, okay here is Sinner Twin, get another Terracon, uh, I like his color scheme, green and the yellow, so that's him. Up next is Cutthroat. Again, I will be opening these and forming Abominus. And the last Terracon is Blot. Which is kind of a stupid name, but... Oh well, he looks cool. That's the important thing. Okay, up next I've got some 1-6 um, scale figures, and the f I'll start off with this um, Planet of the Apes figure. It is um, Astronaut Brent, he comes with a stand and some accessories. Uh, I haven't seen all the Planet of the Apes movies. I've seen the first two. And then I saw the Tim Burton one. And then I saw the first of the recent ones. Uh, like, I think it was Dawn of the Planet of the Apes or something. The first of the, re uh, the, like, the reboots. I haven't seen the other two, though. Um, so I'm a, a mild Apes fan. But I like the uh, I really like the original movie. It's pretty classic stuff, and I like old sci-fi. So this uh, figure was kind of a no-brainer for me. There's a uh, Taylor, mutant leader, uh, an ape. So that's that. I'll be going up on my one of my one six scale shells. Up next is another Planet of the Ape figure. This is the Gorilla Soldier. Let me try to back out so you can get a better look at him. So that's him. Okay, up next is another vintage sci-fi figure, and this one, <laughs> this one's kind of an oddball, because I haven't even seen the show, 
Uh, I've got the DVD on order to, wa to see the watch Lost in Space. But this is apparently one of the characters in the show. It is um, the Keeper. I guess he's like a kind of like the collector from Marvel. He wants to uh, kidnap people and life forms and collect them. He comes with a stand and he looks pretty cool. And again, I've got a, a hard on for vintage sci-fi, so um, I couldn't say no. And I do have another Lost in Space figure coming. Uh, and these are, all, I think, all the ones that they sell on the back. Well, this figure came out years ago, so it's an old line. But uh, uh, this guy right here, I've got him on his way to me right now. I think it's uh, John Robinson. But yeah, I love me some old sci-fi. And speaking of old sci-fi, <laughs> got some more one, uh, one six figures from uh, Battlestar Galactica. This is a uh, Starbuck. There's our uh, Richard Hatch shilling the, uh, the figures. This is from the original Battlestar Galactica back when Starbuck was a dude instead of a chick. So that's him. And if you have him, you have to get Apollo. his helmet, his blaster, and what is that, a communicator? And a stand. Thank God he comes with a stand. I hate it when one six figures don't come with a stand. It really annoys me. Okay, and the last uh, Battlestar Galactica figure I have in this toy hall is uh, Commander Adama. Okay, and the last uh, item I've got for today is another uh, one six scale figure from a, uh, a franchise I'm really, really excited about. It is, get dust off, it's uh, an animated Batman, a 1-6 scale animated Batman. I am a, uh, a big fan of uh, Batman the Animated Series from the early 90s. It is uh, probably the best, well I mean it is the best superhero cartoon that's ever been made. Um, yeah, they really, it was a really good show. They really hit it out of the park with that cartoon. And, um, I just could not resist getting this figure. I mean, they make, um, animated Batman figures that are like six inch. Uh, and I decided not to collect those because I, I just didn't have the room for them. And I didn't want to spend the money. But when they made this one, uh, one six scale Batman from the cartoon, I, I couldn't say no. Because I collect one six scale figures. And you see, it comes with two extra heads and a bunch of hands and stuff. And is a sweet looking figure. Let's see what's on the back. Uh, just a logo. But uh, okay, guys, that's my uh, haul for today. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff, spent a lot of money. And, uh, well, it's too bright over there. But, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and, uh, have a good day. Okay, bye.